Hello, beautiful Pisces. Welcome to Ascended Stars. Ali Jade here to do your reading, my magical angels. Um, you know, I did four things because four represents angels, and I just thought, wow, you guys are such amazing people. Uh, much love and light to you. Okay, so first things up, I'm going to take some room here for you. So close your ears. Trinkets and moons, okay? There we go. There we go. Wow, there's a lot of stuff there. Okay, so what am I going to start with first? We're going to get into it. All right, Pisces, uh, the eclipse happening and uh it's it's neptunian your ruling planet and neptune is on your ruling planet we have sagittarius an octave of your um sign and i don't know what is going to be on the on the deck here for you i really don't know but i did want to get the um past life cards because you guys rule the 12th house and the past life so you know that's what it's about with you coming here for fate finishing up cycles closing up things that we need to close up um yeah and and getting on a new path because pisces is like what do you call pisces is like uh The unknown yeah <laughs> took me so long to say that uh, it's pisces is definitely the unknown so so that's what i feel like a new path and you're it's this uh, this new path is unknown right this new path is new this new path is um a closing of an old path to get onto the new path all right where we got those okay we can put that we got that put this together and we got now we're going to get into the tarot and let's look at your person okay so let's look how your person feels this will be for the love okay that's your person oh my gosh that's how they feel that card went in there it doesn't belong there but i'll put it on there. that's how they feel they want to tell you something and that's going on with you would also do some more soul searching here some more soul searching soul searching okay that came in upside down i'll leave it I'm just, once it hits the desk you know it's like that's it <laughs> it's like that's the message <laughs> like if it's reversed or if it's straight you gotta take it as it comes that one did a flip over as well there's some trippy energy there with the soul cards surrender okay you will have to surrender something don't think you won't because it's an eclipse and during the eclipse especially sagittarius especially sagittarius wow okay so the sagittarius eclipse what what do we have to release for the pisces collective what are the messages about surrendering here no, nope, you look good. You don't have to surrender one damn thing. No kidding. <laughs> That's how I get them to hurry up. <laughs> They're like, oh, <laughs> they really, she really thinks that this Pisces is okay. <laughs> then they speak up. Then they go, oh, wait. <laughs> but your angels, your angels want to give you guidance. They want you, they want to help you from above. They know that you are trying your best here on this very dense reality we call world when you should be about love and unconditional kindness and you know free to free to do that but that's not how that's not the, that's we, we we embarked on this journey honey we embarked on this really intense journey all right so now mother peace now this is calling to me for you because it has so much of this ancient energy in it it's like a native type of energy. I, I was wondering why Spirit wanted me wanted me to have this deck. We're going to leave that pile for you because round cards just go round and round and round and round and round. 
and I don't know what to do. Okay, we have Angel Guidance. Angel Guidance. But we also have this Angel Guidance here. And let me just typically do not shuffle angel cards, but there's they, they want some energy put into this deck. They want some movement. They want to move the waters of Pisces. You know, they move it. They want you to move those emotions. They want you to stop being stagnant, standing still on these emotional things, on these emotions. You get so emotional, you get stuck, huh? All right. But maybe you're just in fear. Okay, so let's see, because I did see Archangel Michael. Let's see if he comes out again. For my Pisces Collective, please give us some angel messages for my Pisces Collective. And I will be... Okay. <laughs> oh, God, you guys. <gasps> oh, God, you guys. All right. I'll give you a little hint. Pisces. Pisces. Some of you, I think, are too caught up in this 3D world and are being deceived by things and not paying attention to the signs, the angel signs, okay? Because you're going to trip out on what that card is. Okay, we're going to hold off on love. We're going to give the messages of what needs to come. Eight of Cups. So somebody's chosen not to walk away. Okay, this is reversed. It's hard to tell in these in these round cards, I'll tell you. But I'll tell you, it's reversed. See, the eight is on the bottom there. So round and round and round and round. We got to move those emotions from down to up, not up to down. Yep, Pisces, somebody's got a hangman energy, and it means that you are caught up in your emotions. You are not able to let go of something, and so what happens? When you when you feel so much, ask a Scorpio, man. Ask a Scorpio. Ask a Cancer. What, what are you going to do? What are you going to do when they come for you? You're going to you're gonna zone out. You're going to want to check out, baby. Check, 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 check. One, two, check one, two. No, you don't want to do check one, two. You want to check out. And you, this energy for Pisces has been here, I guess. You want to check out. Somebody wants to check out of the emotion, of whatever emotion is killing you right now. It's killing me. It's killing me. That ain't going to work. Okay. And that's a major arcana. Princess of Wands. Yep, you're out on the prowl. Who's going to give me attention? Who's going to look at me? Who's going to tickle, tickle my private parts? Yeah, I'm sorry to be so rude and crude, but I kind of am. All right. No apologies. Eight of pentacles. Yeah, work on yourself, honey. Work on yourself. Get into crafts, not sex. You know, don't escape into vices. Escape into healthy things, you know. Really do the work. Stop pretending that you don't know. You don't know any better. Stop pretending that you don't have any gifts. Stop pretending that nobody sees you. I go to work like a doctor. Yes. Yes, because you are healing. You need to fall into this healing energy. And you have a lot of love, a lot of light. Um, you have a lot to give. You have a lot to share. And people want to take, you know, partake in your energy. They want to dive into your ocean. They want to discover your river. Two of Cups. Yeah, that somebody is somebody who is um, heartbroken over you. Or vice versa, okay? And the, they haven't they haven't been paying attention to you. The wheel, okay? So they 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 uh, they've been putting a halt on this con connection. They haven't been emotionally available. 
and they know it and they know it <laughs> so they're healing you know right here they got to heal six of swords they had to leave they had to check in with something that was beyond their control you know um they it, it was like they could only move so close to you and then uh some kind of energetic coil pull had to pull them back to something in the past to deal with okay and and it's it's and and also it's because they the way that they think they think that they can't be with you they think that they can't make it work out they think that they need to go and get attention from a lot of people here the leonian energy that they need more alcohol you know more th more credit more street credit no i'm kidding no. <laughs> it's ay 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 yep so this person this person's like looking on the internet right now checking checking it out like who's gonna who's gonna give me that manly attention that i need you know that that feminine attention that i desire that flirtatious energy who's gonna fill the gap you know i'm i'm i'm, I'm here not feeling but i want to connect with like a flo another floater who i will m magnetically attach to yeah because they love someone they know they love someone the high priestess okay yeah and they want a family with this person and they already have somebody you could come across as the queen of pentacles meaning that you could be like wife material you could be the one that they're like wow this is the one that i really want to do life with you know that i really want to have children with because you see a little child there as well mm -hmm. so they're slow to they're slow to connect they're slow to communicate they know it but they are not communicating because they're healing right there they're healing okay but here is a uh, queen of swords hmm yeah look at that that's crazy it's crazy i picked this deck here's somebody all right let me tell you what happens just to you or this person there's somebody in their life that knows how to manipulate them they're the great manipulator and they know how to verbally, could be a Gemini, Aquarius, or Libra, that knows how to say things to them where they manipulate them, where they go down to their low self-esteem and they What I pick up is somebody here gets down on themselves, they drink, and then they get very susceptible to all kinds of entities, um, you know, incubus, kind of uh, low vibrational, demonic, uh, feminine energies, okay? And, and it all happens like through a fight. So there could be a fight here. Somebody goes, gets down on themselves, and they go and cheat on you, or you vice versa, it's very interesting energy, but we're going to continue with this. So let's look at the past life cards. War and battles. This person hasn't gotten over or, or they're getting over this energy of war and battle. So they've suffered a lot, maybe in a past life through um, masculine energy of, of being in, in war. And maybe they, they get in with women who are very... Um, seducting seductress thinking that they're loving but then they i don't know let's see what else what other past life yeah wow so they oh my god so they uh. 
they're healing this um, this aggression energy, okay? But because these kind of are very much, we know the Roman days, they were very sexual and stuff. So let's see what that's about. Yeah. So now they're going through this passive aggressive energy. It's a very passive aggressive energy here. Um, and it's an emotional storm. And so they don't know how to deal with the aggression. They might have aggressive sex or they might have th their way to, to fix this aggression is to having sex with strangers where you could have more aggressive sex. Uh, I Scorpio over here talking on the, on, on the corner, but um, whispering in my ear. Okay, so gifted, gifted. This person's gifted. And so they have gifts that they haven't tapped into. Perhaps you know about these gifts. Uh, perhaps you have seen these gifts and you're uh, privy to them and you see them and you are very uh, attracted to them and you know that they have this gift and they, they're in this dormant state, but they're healing, okay? Interesting, interesting. Okay, so I want to also pick um, Manifestation, Dandelion. Oh, Dandelion. I just... I just said this yesterday. Yes, dandelion. I was. I, I don't know. I said it out loud, and I said, "Why am I saying dandelion?" Wow, that's interesting. Okay, and then daffodil. Oh, I love it. Self worth and manifestation. Daffodil and dandelion. All right. So let's. Let me go ahead and, and take a sneak peek if I have the book for dandelion. I mean, yeah, dandelion. Is that what I said? I do have the book. But hold on. I'm, Dandelion. Here we go. I'll read it to you because now I'm super curious. But I'm only going to read one because then these videos get so long. Apologies. Okay, dandelion is manifestation. So whoever is like, you know, has this lower vibration and stuff, it doesn't matter because you're still manifesting, Pisces. You. So it says. It's not your work to make anything happen. It's your work to dream it and let it happen. That's Esther Hicks. <laughs> That's so funny. I love that this book <laughs> quotes her. Okay, although dandelion is a well-known plant, it's not always a popular one. Folks spend quite a bit of energy eradicating these plants from their lawns and gardens. In fact, dandelion has become the poster child for weed-killing sprays and chemicals. Ironically, this herb is of great benefit to the liver. Oh my God, this person is a drinker and I have it underneath the, the, the hangman. Okay. Which helps detoxify our bodies from the maraud chemicals we encounter in today's world. Whoever's a drinker, you got to be like checking up on them. I'm, I got to, I'll tell you, every part of the plant, root, leaves, blossoms, and sap can be used as food and medicine. Okay, so you are the healer to this person, all right? cross watcher whoever you are you're the healer to this person you are here to heal and help assist their healing path journey let's get into it dandelion's ability to grow just about ev anywhere even in the crack of a sidewalk is a testament to its plant's tenacious personality so I feel like somebody is in hangman energy, wants to escape, go into an emotional storm, get all caught up in the eye of the hurricane, right? And um, it's all emotional turmoil that they can't deal with. But with with the uh, dandelion here, it says that whoever's watching this has tenacity. Tenacity means that you don't give up. You don't give up. Just like the weeds don't give up. So it's a taproot. Its tap roots gathers nutrients from deep within the soil and holds on to life, even when the entire upper portion of the plant is destroyed. The yellow blooms carry the energy of solar plexus and the center of our willpower. Drawing dandelion signifies that you are on the right track toward accomplishing your goals. You're probably feeling very action-oriented, driven by the desire for success and achievement. It is possible you have worked very long and hard on a project, and dandelion is here to cheer you up. The manifestation of your dreams is on its way. 
While physical action is necessary for accomplishment, dandelion reminds us to balance action with pure intention. Think of children plucking a dandelion to blow the fluffy seeds into the wind as they make wishes for the future. All great feasts start with a thought or an idea. Intention alone can have power, powerful effects on manifesting our reality. The law of attraction tells us that what we focus upon, we bring onto into our lives. As you hit obstacles along your path, remember to step back and focus on what you desire with true heartfelt gratitude for what is to come. Humanity's typical response to dandelion as a weed is a testament to our ten tendency to overlook the good that is around us. It also indicates our desire to control our surroundings rather than remaining open to possibilities as they arise. Dandelion reminds us to keep an open mind and accept help from unexpected sources. Do not remain so overly driven and focused on your work that you shut yourself off from unseen opportunities. So the flower essence of this plant is used for hard working go-getters who become too tense to allow life to flow through them. Manifesting our goals is a balancing act between action and intention. Knowing how to use both without strain is the key. So a final lesson of dandelion deals with self-worth. Another issue of the solar plexus, hard work alone is not enough to achieve true success in life. You also have to believe in yourself. For many of us, this is the hardest work of all. And yet, Dandelion is here to give you encouragement and affirm your value. When your actions are aligned with your intentions in a joyful way, you will manifest exactly what you desire baby all right i'm done i'm kidding i'm not done but i should be done <laughs> so that was you know they added the self-worth in there so that was awesome hello that goes there okay i'm not done we're gonna finish it up finish it up here with um what you need to surrender and then we're gonna go with the mermaid messages and then we're going to give you your angel oracle card here we go are you ready what you need to surrender surrender your addictions oh la la we didn't know that whether you're addicted to substances food people sex or overworking take action to begin to heal the addiction and replace it with healthier alternatives Oh, let's look at the trinkets. Look, I got, I don't know why my ring is in there. I must have popped it in there when I was tired. I was like, oh, I'll just put, so the ring, I don't know. It could be an engagement ring. I mean, it's pretty funky. Maybe it's very untraditional. Maybe it's, you know, um, okay. So somebody's not seeing the full picture. These glasses were down. Okay. So this is, um, this is like the crown chakra to me, you know, I, I don't know what, 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 I got this at a gar garage place, gar you know, um, but this is like purple, so it's the crown chakra and solar plexus, so again, that's, you know, the crown chakra and the solar, so your intention and your mind to be put as one, to be one, you know, one, okay, so look, this is an old dice I found, I thought it was pretty cool, I was like, because I love dice, so it was a number one, you're meant to lead, not follow, the third house, Gemini, siblings, friends, associates, groups and i will have to you know what oh gosh let me do the runes before i get into the cards because the the runes the runes the runes okay so let's see what this is oh gosh okay all right so here we have the gaz now it came in sideways so I guess I'll read both messages because some of these do not have reversals. The gods, pay or dawn, breakthrough, awakening, awareness, daylight, clarity, as opposed to nighttime uncertainty, uncertainty, a time to plan or embark upon an enterprise, the power of change directed by your own will, transformation, hope, happiness, the ideal, and it's security and uncertainty, growth, release, balance, point, a security and uncertainty this is weird it says it's both okay growth and release balance growth and release 
the balance point okay so that's why it's security and uncertainty it's the balance point yeah so right here that's why it's in the middle so you guys are going to be so centered and balanced knowing like you know the polarity of both worlds because gemini represents duality so the place where opposites meet yes pisces man you have that vision you have that eye that's so awesome wow okay so that's one and we still have another one here it is i found it i found it but it's not um okay yeah this one's called jera this one's called jera a year a good harvest so in a year you're gonna have a good harvest probably the results of earlier uh, efforts are realized oh no this is like you getting the harvest from a year ago a time of peace and happiness fruitful season it can break through stagnancy hopes and expectations of peace and prosperity the promise of success earned life cycle cyclical pattern of the universe oh i'm so proud i said that word everything changes in its own time yeah but you know not every pisces is going to get this because the reversal I would say we don't I don't know yeah the reversal there is no reversal but it is a sudden setback reversals a major change bad timing so so this could also represent that you're involved with somebody and it's just bad timing oh gosh thanks a lot okay at least we know at least we know it's better to know than not to know so then we have it was wow bad timing uh huh okay honor justice leadership and authority analysis rationality knowing where one's true strengths lie willingness to self-sacrifice victory and success in any competition or legal matters you know guys we're getting most of these on the upright on the upright on the upright yeah we're getting them most of them on the upright so we don't have really bad news to report it's all coming in good 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 where's okay this okay so this one is this one is reversed all right we do got one reversed and protection shield the protective urge to shelter oneself or others defense so reverse this is hidden danger consumption or loss of divine link taboo warning turning away that which rebels turning away that which rebels repels repels not rebels i'm sorry with a p turning away that which repels okay so if you're not feeling good so the connection to god awakening higher spiritual life it can be used to channel energies ap ap appropriately follow your instincts keep hold of success or maintain position earned hidden danger this is reverse you guys so this is where your intuitive gift comes in. You have that sliminess over the fish where you can slip slide away from any situation because you got the intuition that sparks it. And then you're like, whoa, I got to go hit the back door and go. And that's what you do. That's how you save yourself, basically. That's what you do. That's what you do. Um, so you're being forewarned, you know, trust that intuition because it's going to save your life. And it has saved many, many uh, Pisces lives. Let me tell you through many lives all right so now we have kenaz kenaz the last one but it came out like this which is odd because it could only be like this or like this so we'll read the whole thing beacon or torch vision revelation knowledge creativity inspiration technical ability vital fire of life harnessed power fire of transformation and regeneration power to create your own reality that is pisces that is pisces north node einstein pisces north node okay power to create your own reality the power of light open to new strength energy and power now passion sexual love okay so reversed <laughs> reverse disease breakup instability lack of creativity nakedness exposure loss of illusion and false hope okay loss of illusion confusion there's some people wearing a false mask you got to really take a good look at them okay look at the eyes missing the eyeball 
So that's that's what we got now. Now, 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 now. Yeah, and you got to see clearly. Use your intuition because that's 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 confirmation. Really lean into that intuition, my loves. Okay. So, because you're gifted. Okay, you're very gifted. People want to take that gift, and um, you you need to surrender those addictions. Okay, because you've been beat down and you've been not, you know, given accolades and support. But the universe is giving you support now, opening up that pathway you know, allowing things to happen for you, but you've got to, what? Believe, okay? If you don't believe, you won't succeed. Surrender the idea you can fix someone. Oh, geez, Louise. Now you're going to be telling me that this Pisces is gravitating to these these people who have damn addictions and saying, I want to think, I just want to love someone. Oh, Pisces. Believe me, I talked like this to Virgo as well, Okay. You fix them and then they go off and leave you because they needed fixing from you and then they think they're all fine and dandy and they take off. They take off, okay? They don't need your vibration anymore. You fix them. It's time for a relationship to shift. It doesn't work to try to fix someone. Each person must be accountable for his or her own healing. Again, somebody's maybe in separation because of the addictions and they have to fix themselves. You're not going to try to fix them. They're going to fix themselves. All right. Uh -huh. I have so much more to give you here. All right. I did say I was going to do it in that pattern, but I forgot I have the love messages here. Surrender your desire to control people and to fix them. All right. Being over controlling can sabotage. So somebody here has these attributes, probably your person, that they got to go fix this stuff. Okay. They got to go with hangman energy. They might have gone bye bye. They're not in, in the house right now. They're going through an emotional storm, Put you, putting you through an emotional storm through a uh, storm as well. Because you know, this person might be sexually promiscuous and it, it drives you crazy because you're like, I love this person and I don't know. I know they love me, but they're putting me in jeopardy. Jeopardy. You know that song? Baby. Oh. <laughs> My love is. Da -na -na -na. Baby. Yeah. Okay. Surrender your belief in scarcity. Okay. Because so this person feels like, oh my God, I need I need it now. I'm never going to have love again. You know, this, 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 uh, not enough feeling. This. Okay. So the universe is asking you to open to the infinite nature of abundance. In this way, you can remove blocks in your life and succeed beyond your wildest dreams. Wow. That's why we have Abraham Hicks here telling us, you know, the law of attraction. It's not every day the birds get fed. They ain't worried. They don't have a refrigerator stocked and filled with toilet paper and, and all kinds of stuff that, you know, is frozen. What if you have an electrical shortage, you know, and all your food is like wasted because you put it in the freezer and you thought you'd be set up for months. So, I mean, there are things that could happen, unexpected things. And I'm, I'm not saying, I hope to God we don't, I hate saying stuff and now I'm doing it during a Pisces re reading and I'm, I don't, I'm not happy about that, but because shit happens, excuse my French, but the, you know, what I'm saying is, yes, you're going to, you're going to always be able to every day, this Capricorn energy, you get what you get every day. You're going to be fed every day. Like the birds, they get enough nutrition, they get enough for, for their daily needs, for their nutritional needs. So you don't have to be in the scarcity mentality, but somebody, somebody that you're involved with probably is in the scarcity mentality. Okay. So this is, um, yeah. This is your person. They can't receive. They're not in a place of receiving, okay? So my beautiful Pisces energy, no matter how gifted you are. Where's my gifted card? Oh my gosh. What happened to my gifted card? I got rid of it. No matter how gifted you are, this person can't receive. They're not capable, okay? You're... you're because you're kind and loving, but they're not in that place of receiving right now. And you can't trust them. Oh, heck to the no. Can you trust somebody who's going to be putting you in jeopardy like this? They get drunk and they just, you know, bang. They'd be banging whoever, you know, because they don't think they're going to get somebody tomorrow night or the next day. Or they don't feel good enough. They don't got integrity. They do not have integrity. All right. You demonstrate the truth. No, they don't demonstrate the truth and honesty of your soul and manifest love with your every action. Yes, you do, whoever's watching this, but they don't. That's a disconnect, okay? So this is an emotional storm going on for my Pisces. And I'm sorry, but it's not really for me to apologize. Yeah, they don't give you honesty. They don't give you straight answers. And this puts you in a place of soul solitude. 
okay? This sucks for you, Pisces, whoever this is for. Why? I'll tell you why in a, in a second. Ah, oh, this is why. Because they're your soulmate. Or you think so. That's what came out. All right. Here are your mermaid cards. Let yourself receive. So now it's if, if this person can't receive your love, you have to go out and receive, you know, you have to go replenish your energy. You have to go out, be with your friends, the people who really love you. Friendship is massive right now. It's a big, huge energy is coming in because there is rejection because the, 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 the beautiful souls that I have given and have been kind and, you know, lovely Piscean energy, that, that energy has been, has not, you know, you don't feel like walking away because you, 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 you know, it is, it's, it's correct. You do feel this is correct. All, everything, you're not losing your mind. This is all correct, but you deserve better. You deserve honesty, integrity, and trust. Whoops. <laughs> trust and nope that person's not in a place to receive to receive these gifts so we have set your sights higher increase your standards and expect more for yourself don't settle because maybe they're saying you think this is your soulmate but we're going to give you signs that your soulmate really is coming to you because the energy you're just dealt with is not it. Simplify your life. Eliminate clutter from your home and work life to balance the flow of activities. Oh, I got to go do that right now. And watch your thoughts. It's important to only think about what you desire, not what you fear. Mm -mm -mm. It's a huge one with Pisces. All right. 37 minutes. Okay, watch your health, Pisces. Don't get involved with anybody. Just keep all this yumminess and beautiful, unconditional love that you have to yourself. Heal. And this will pass. This soon will pass. Because I, I'm doing this prior to the eclipse energy and Sagittarius eclipse is, you know, fire. And it could cause a lot of this desire. The fire could cause desire. So let's give you some of the angel messages that um want to come in for my pisces collective i don't want to leave you hanging but we did get a lot of info here trust that the angels are protecting you okay and you're building your trust muscle again and maybe trust that a real soul is coming in for you forgiveness forgive you know it was a big important lesson for you to just you know learn to be standing on your own and hold your own integrity it doesn't matter just because they don't have integrity doesn't mean that you have to act that way keep your own integrity and this is a shocker clearing they're clearing this energy for you right now as we speak okay archangel metatron call upon me to clear and open your chakras using sacred geometric shapes so funny because it's gemini uh energy um because we're in gemini season during the eclipse so yeah so numbers could be you know look at look i guess consecutive numbers you know like the, that kind of thing it could be sending you angel messages anyway i love you pisces take care until next time i hope this has been helpful to you please give me a thumbs up i appreciate it all my info is down below take care